black. Black is our color. We were born black in Africa. I am black and proud. This is dedicated to my family who are in prison for trying to build a better nation for me. Stay strong. My name is Jamal Joseph, professor of film at Columbia University, writer, director, poet, activist, public speaker, a member of the Black Panther Party, one of the New York Panther 21, and most proudly, Tupac Shakur's godfather. Afeni Shakur became my big sister when I walked into the Panther office at 15 years old. It was after Dr. King was assassinated and I showed up at the office mad and ready to fight and ready to join the struggle. And she said, you look like you're 13 years old, go home. I said, I'm not, I wanna be a Panther. And Afeni said, okay, I'm gonna keep my eye on you. And from that moment, she became my big sister. Tupac was born. I was there as one of his Panther uncles and his godfather. Tupac was always energetic, was always curious, was always the leader. When I went to prison, Tupac would write letters of encouragement, would tell us about a rally or a demonstration that we had, and always saying, be strong, you're coming home soon. I was in prison in Leavenworth when this envelope arrived and I opened it and it was a book of poetry, specifically haiku, written by Tupac. And it really just filled myself with sunlight and joy. Faith. Faith is what we need. It keeps us alive day by day. Faith is important. When I first read the haiku in prison, I was inspired. First of all, it was just an amazing piece of work from an 11-year-old. Tupac, with this work, and it would become symbolic of his other work, was combining art forms. He took haiku, which is a Japanese style of poetry, and wrote about nature, but it was also political. It was about blackness. It was about freedom fighters. It was about who we are as a people. It's almost musical in the way that the lyrics are written. It could be lyrics to a particular song. And it really showed the depth of this young man, but also creating a vision that represented strength, unity, hope, and that represented love. This haiku is a blessing to the world not just as a piece of memorabilia, but a piece of history, that these words should really elevate all of us, inspire all of us. Tupac had a thing that says, you know, when you're performing, whether it's acting, whether you're speaking, whether you're writing, he says, when you can get everybody's heart beating in the same rhythm, true change happens. And there's a hope in this work that we all get our hearts beating in the same rhythm toward a better day, toward liberation, toward peace, toward love. I hope you enjoyed my haiku. Be strong, I love you. Tupac Shakur, future freedom fighter.